Okay, so we are starting off nice and dry. We have a few clouds moving through the area, basically a mix of sun and clouds for today and basically no rain. It's a very low rain chance, by the way, at 10%. But tomorrow we could have not only more cloud cover, but also maybe the chance for a stray shower. As you can tell, it's not too impressive. Not much rain, just isolated, very isolated along the coast, mainly along the coast and offshore. Then Tuesday, starting early in the day, we could have a few of these showers hovering over Palm Beach County and eventually kind of drifting more north into Lake Okeechobee and parts of Martin County. This is around 2.30 in the afternoon, according to the Vipercast not showing rain though for much of the Treasure Coast, uh, specifically more for Indian River County, St. Lucie County, and Okeechobee. So they those areas could steer away from most of the moisture, but not going to rule it out for the further south you are. But it's not a washout by all means, and you can tell most of those showers were inland too. However, the model does want to show a little blip of rain around 6:30. In the evening Tuesday, that's Halloween evening, near Boca, or hopefully it just stays right to the south over Broward. So let's talk about that trick or treat forecast. So, yes, there's a chance for showers throughout Halloween day, but I do expect that by 7 p.m., 8 o'clock hour, even 9 o'clock, we should be dry. Uh, 6 o'clock, there's still a chance, but as you can tell, it's mainly for southern areas of Palm Beach County. Anybody to the north of that, most likely you won't see rain. Other than that, just partly cloudy skies through the evening. Temperatures are going to be mild during the evening Tuesday, and it's going to feel muggy, too, with temperatures mainly around 80 degrees at that time as the trick-or-treaters go get some candy. Okay, so we do still have relatively dry air over us, but moisture starts to creep up, especially coming in off the tropics, but it doesn't cover us completely. Now, as we head into Wednesday morning, a front arrives into our area, passes through later Wednesday afternoon and behind the front. We do dry things out and feel a lot less humid by Thursday. So looking forward to that. That's going to change things up a bit. However, even though the wind's still breezy today, it does lighten up a little bit tomorrow and Tuesday, but then once the front passes through, the winds pick up again. And by the way, the winds are starting to pick up some speed. 15 mile per hour wind speed sustained in Boca, but a gust of 25, 23 in store. Let's talk about that beach forecast. The rip current risk is high. The surf is still rough. Be careful out there. And small craft advisories in effect now. Quickly, your seven day forecast. Highs are going to be in the mid 80s today and the next few days until Thursday. We drop it down to the upper 70s and right near 80 degrees could wake up into the upper 60s Thursday morning.